Hey YouTube, this is Keen Beast Kai here coming at you with another video. Now I know my hair is wonky, I can't do nothing about that. I'm going to get a haircut soon, but what I have for you today is One Piece Chapter 2, Romance Dawn East Blue. You can hear the thing I'm reading along with you guys, because it's fun to do it this way. Alright, <clears throat> Chapter 2, they call him Straw Hat Luffy. So, so on an uncharted island, so we're in some random island in the East Blue. A pirate ship. So the pirate lady's name that controls the ship is Lady Alvida. If you're the one piece, you don't know who that is. And she calls herself... Who is the most of, like... Uh, hang on. Uh, I can't find it right now, so let me just give you... So, as you know, they're sailing on the ship. They're just crossing the sea. You know, her shipmates are supposed to clean the ship, but they missed a spot, and then she just clocks them because she wants to have the most beautiful and the most cleanest ship on the seas of the East Blue. And, of course, we introduced to Kobe, the cabin boy. He was once on Alvita's ship. He wasn't always a marine bad. A. He was a cabin boy at one time. Of course, she's called Iron Mace Alvita, not just Lady Alvita. Iron Mace Alvita, that's who she's called. And she assigned Toby to squab with the toilets. So, yeah. So, they're at her hideout. They have a couple of storages and they have a flag waving. Her Jolly Roger is like a heart. She's with a skeleton. It's like facing this way with a heart right there and sticking out so Kobe just got a barrel and he's rolling it our three and her shipmates are keeping the secret from her I don't know how why you would do that to your captain right? she's like she's that scary I assume um and they're like Kobe you're not tell Alvina he's like oh no I wouldn't tell her and then the famous bam Luffy just pops out he's like that was a great sleep, and he somehow survived. So, yeah, I, it's been one of the greatest mysteries in One Piece. How did Luffy survive that world? Well, we will never know. Each row owed him my answer at one day. He's like, where am I? <clears throat> He's like, who the heck are you guys? He's like, and they're like, who the heck are you? And Albie just throws him in. She's like, back to work, you scurvy dogs. And he's just, boom. It like does like a little boomerang thing and just, just doo -doo -doo. like it crashes the building and then comes back into her hand. And of course she knocked out three of her men and of course she didn't knock out Luffy because Luffy's Luffy. And then she called him lazy and she's like, "How dare you defy me?" By the way, this is not a beautiful lady. You know, she she, she is she is. I'm gonna put this nicest way. She's not the brightest girls on the scene. Just, just put it like that. She's like, don't play dumb with me. I could hear you talking all, all the way from the ship. Which one of you had this such a great nap? So she heard their conversation. And doesn't know that was Luffy saying that. And it wasn't one of her shipmates. And they're like thinking, could it be a bounty hunter? And she's like, ah, oh, so they hired Rebbe Noah Zoro, huh? Oh, Rebbe Noah Zoro, because he's going to the manga. Freaking enemy master. Uh, and so we all know it's not Zolo. We new One Piece fans, like it, it's not Zolo. You don't know. I don't know who Zolo is. I'm just kidding. I know who he is, but is that another introductory character? We're gonna get introduced to here in a couple chapters. So, so we see Kobe and Luffy. They went somewhere. I guess Kobe carried Luffy. I don't know how somewhere else. Kobe the cabin boy. Ah, Kobe. Mm. So it turns out that Kobe built a dinghy. He wants to get Luffy out of here. And Kobe doesn't have enough courage to leave Alvita because he's scared. And he was just going fishing one day. You know, any kid would go fishing. La 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 la. And then he accidentally climbed on a pirate ship. And so that's how he became a cowboy for Iron Miss Alvita. He has a dream to become a naval captain or a naval officer. So that is that. 
and Luffy doesn't like him because he's a coward. He's like, you're worthless and a coward. And he's like, you don't have to be that frank. And he's, he has that big, he's like crying. He's like depressed crying. And then Luffy tells Kobe, like, I'm going to be king of the pirates. He's like, Kobe's like, no way. No, there's too many pirates out there. It's too dangerous. And you're looking for the one piece. And then just Luffy just knocks him on the side of the head. He's like, like hey, why did you hit me? You were hysterical. Yeah, Kobe's known for overreacting, I think. Just remember, there's still somewhere on Alvita's hideout. They're just far away from Alvita and her men on the shore. And Luffy's like, if I have to die, become the king of the pirates, then um, at least I tried. And, like, Luffy shows bravery to Kobe, and, like, you're going to see something interesting here in a couple of pages. And Luffy's like, I believe I succeed, or I'm just deluding myself. And Kobe's like, I never looked at it that way before. He's like, maybe I can be like that. He's like, I don't want to be on this ship forever. I want to go in and be a naval captain. He's like, I'm going to do it. And he's going to risk his life trying to accomplish his dream. He's like, getting really pumped up. He's like, I can do this. And then just Alvita is like, are you going to capture him? Bam! Under the ground. And just Luffy's like, oh, it's her. And he's, he's like, you little sneak. Of course, Alvita found them eventually. He's like, you little sneak. Do you really think you could escape from me? Is that the bounty hunter you hired? Of course, it's not Rowan Noah's own. So I'll give you a chance to read who is the rarest throughout all the seas. Answer me. So, look, he's like, who's Zolo? Hey, lady, I'll read you. Hey, who's that tough looking old biddy? Luffy had to point out the obvious, yep. She's a tough looking old biddy. Luffy. And of course, all of her men got there as soon as they heard the noise from Alvita's maze. They all got gotten there. They're all in the force of Alvita's hideout on an island. And, she, and Luffy um, and Kobe like, let me take it back. And then Kobe just remember what Luffy said to him just a couple of seconds ago. He's like, I'm gonna be king of the pirates, and if I die trying, and then at least I tried. He's like, Lady Alvita is the ugliest old hag of all. And then just like a brief moment of silence, like, like, just the wind, just everything just goes silent. And Luffy just burst out, starts laughing. He's like, hey. <laughs> She's like, you little, and she's like, she's going up with her ace, and she's going to rack him on the side of the head. He said he wouldn't be scared, and he's going to cry living for his dream, and he ain't going to be, no regrets. And of course, and Luffy's like, good for you, Kobe, and he just, now he's like, bam, and then of course, Luffy just hits Luffy on the side of the head, and it doesn't affect him, because the Gummo Gummo no he got from the Gummo Gummo no tree. Yes, originally, One Piece which is just supposed to be one double fruit attained by Luffy through a magical gum gum tree. It's never supposed to be never multiple double fruits. So I just wanted to clear that up for you guys as well. If you're new, you don't know that. She's like, it doesn't make no damage, you're both gonna die! Luffy's like, that didn't hurt. And then the famous... Like, and her men are like, Alvita's men are like, you gotta be kidding me! And Luffy just gum gum, and then of course the pistol just. And just Alvita's just face kind of does this, just boom. And then she's knocked out. Luffy floored her. She is out. She's down for the count. And then Luffy's like, "Give Kobe a ding. He's gonna join the navy." The is like, "Yeah, yeah, of course." And Luffy just smiles. And so they get off the Alvita's hideout, and they're on the dinghy, and they're sailing to whatever island adventure next. And of course, Kobe points out the obvious, like, if you're going for One Piece, then you're going to the Grand Line. If you're new to One Piece, you don't know what that is. I'm going to keep pretending to make that joke, because... It's just... Uh... <clears throat> they call it the Pirate's Graveyard. That's why I'm in... Kobe told him that's the Pirate's Graveyard, and Luffy says to Kobe, like, that's why I'm going to gather a crew, a strong one. And he's like, I'm going to make Jorah Zolo join my crew if he's strong. And Kobe's like, never, 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 he's a demonic beast. And just, like, Luffy, I think Luffy hits him again. I don't know, he doesn't hit him again. He's like, never, never, he's like, how do you know? Luffy's like, told Kobe, like, how do you know? He might join my crew. And so the two young Avengers sail towards the naval base in Destiny. 
That is all for Chapter 2. And let me know what you thought. So, a recap of what Chapter 2 was about. One, Luffy somehow escaped the whirlpool from Chapter 1. Two, Luffy lands on Alvita's hideout. Three, Luffy and Kobe say their dreams. Alvita gets there. Alvita gets floored with Luffy after tr she tried to hit Kobe with the mace. And Kobe's been a cabin boy for Alvita's ship for a while now. So that about clears up Chapter 2. That's all that happened. So let me know what you thought of this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Hit the subscribe button. And hit the gray bell for more content like this. And hit the gray bell again, sorry. For get notified whenever I upload this. And, like, if you're new to One Piece, well, you know, welcome to the channel. And if you're, like, like My Hero Academia, if, like, Attack on Titan, if, like, Black Clover, if, like, any other image, just welcome to the channel if anybody new comes. I am signing up.